implicit bias? Microaggressions? What are these big words? Well, you are about to find out. Or you're about to witness some real world examples of this happening. Enjoy the show. Hi, can I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. I really like your outfit. What'd you get it from? Um, I got it from the outlets, the Tanger outlets in Grand Rapids. Hmm. What's your uh, major? Um, I think I'm going into marketing. I'm not sure yet, though. I'm yeah. not 100% sure. That's cool. You know, you speak English really, really well. How long have you been in the country for? Oh, uh, my whole life. What? Yeah. Oh, so that's just, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I just, wow. Oh, okay. Thousand dollars? No way. One or two eight, and yeah. How was the turnout? Huh? How was the turnout? It was Hi. good. It was really good. Hello. I'm Maya Sinidra. Nice to meet you. Uh, I am not the president. I'm just a, a participant here. Uh, oh, well, where's the president at? I'm the president. Oh, you're the president. Yeah. Oh, hi, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. How did you uh, get the presidency? Um, was I, your like, boyfriend the president last year or something? No, I um, ran to be president and I got elected. Really? Yeah. So is it like mostly like a female like kind of body then? Or? No. What's it really? No, it, it was just based off the study guide. All right, so are you going to start class now? Uh, Crystal? Here. Mm. Moises? Moses? Uh, it's, it's, it's pronounced Moises. Say that again? Uh, Moises. Do you go by a nickname or...? Uh, it, my name is just Moises. It's like uh, Moses, but in Spanish actually. Uh, M-O-I-S-E-S, accent on the E. Moises. So just a little emphasis, that's all. So how about Mo? Um, I mean that's not really my name. I'd rather you just call me Moises. Alright. Alright guys, let's get started on these applications. We've got a, a lot to do. Okay. Alright, let's see. Looks like we have some very qualified applicants. Let's read them really quick. Alright. So what do you guys think? We'll I'll start with John Smith over there. Uh, I mean, he, he's, 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 he's a yes. Like we, of uh, course, uh, we of him. course. Like he's just perfect. Anyway. Sean Adams. Okay. Masters of Science. That seems. I see potential. Okay. Well, what about we can only take two though. What about Sean Trell? Mm, yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah. You know, I got a funny feeling. I don't know. Those fifty hours of community service are a little sus suspicious. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, that's yeah. That, that's 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 a big old no. Kobe. What we have just witnessed are clear examples of both subliminal bias and microaggressions. Whether or not they're intentional, they're constant and they're cumulative. There are people that have to live with this every day, and for them, this is just their life. These actions and statements are very hard to quantify, and you can't really show them in a statistic, which is why. New racism or modern racism is so hard to really measure and quantify. However, one way that we can all make a difference, at least with ourselves, is to try and identify our, bi our biases and being open to not only discussion but criticism. And whenever someone comes to approach us, know that it's not out of an ill will. It's just you know trying to help you to improve yourself and to prevent you from possibly offending others. So be open and be aware